What is up you guys, it's Violet Telly here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys just can tell by the title of the video, I am super, super late. I meant to do this like, like last week, last week. But uh, now, I'm finally going to give you my opinion on episode 2 and episode 3 of Miss Marvel. Now, I need to start off preference by saying that two things. One, I'm wearing a Gengar t-shirt. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite Pokemon is. Also... I did start a preference by saying, um, similar to Old World Be One, um, I wasn't really looking forward to this series. I just thought that it looked too teenagery and it just looked really dumbed down. Um, but you know what? I've actually started to like it. I've actually started to like it. I think I said in my first episode review that I like the fact that we've got some um, equality in here, so there's like a Muslim um, superhero in here now. So I'm happy about that. No problem. Love the culture. Got many Muslim friends. Um, I kind of like the humour in here as well. Again, it is very toned down and very for the teenagers. So don't expect there to be like any hardcore battle scenes in here or anything like that. Because it's like a high school story adventure kind of thing. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I like it overall. But anyway, um, I'm not going to go in scene by scene, by the way. So I'm just going to give you my overall thoughts from what I can remember from episode two and then recently episode three. So from what I can remember overall, the general consensus from episode two is pretty much that we found out that her power doesn't come from the bangle itself. It pretty much like the same way Thor's hammer allowed his power to project through the hammer. It's like an object to steer your power. That's pretty much what we find out. The bangle unlocks her power inside and lets her project it. So it's kind of like having a Green Lantern ring. Yeah, you can kind of call it that, essentially. But yeah, really, really cool. Again, we get some um, information of her friend where she's going through discussing names and stuff like that. Um, we find out that we have a... Um, I was going to say, no. yeah, we have like an ancestor that shouldn't be named. You know, they always have that ancestor or somebody in the family that disgraced the name and you're not supposed to talk about them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, obviously she's been spoken about, like um, the, the redhead from the first episode. She gets interrogated by, um, oh, what's the name? Damage control. She gets she gets um, interviewed by the damage control people. Um like, crisis control, damage control, pretty same thing. But, yeah, she gets interviewed by them, and she's saying that, you know, they're pretty much trying to say that she's a, you know, the powered individual. You know, they're really trying to dumb her down, and they're pretty much trying to get the girl from the high school that um, Kamala said. They're trying to get her to give her up, basically. Like, you know, did you see what her face looked like? Obviously, they know she's Muslim, so obviously they're going around mosques trying to find out, you know. They know she's Muslim, so they know something about her. But yeah, overall, second episode didn't really give us much. There's not really much spoilers you can give on these episodes. I'm kind of seeing these kind of like Disney Plus shows. There's not, not much spoilers, really. Obi-Wan didn't have any much spoilers in there, really. Other than probably of Darth Vader. But if you'd kept up with the news before the show came out, you knew Darth Vader would be coming back because Hayden Christian had already signed on. Um, obviously, we didn't know what big part he'd have. Um, but yeah, second episode, I remember it being pretty cool. It was literally just discovering her powers, really. Finding exactly what they are. We had a bit of a training thing where she learns that she can um, pretty much make these, like... I want to say, like, steps, so she can, like, use steps and stuff. Obviously, we know she can projectile a fist and stuff like that. Third episode is where it gets a bit juicy. Now, second episode, by the way, we also find out that she goes to this party that the redhead is um, throwing. Because, obviously, she's gained, like, half a million followers now because she was saved. You know, she's got popular by being saved by the enhanced individual, as they call it. But yeah, she has a party, she ends up um, building up the confidence to speak to the, um, well, essentially the love, the, 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 um, the male, the male, sorry, the, the, the male interest, her love interest, um, takes her for driving lessons. Um, that's after they probably talk at the party, because, you know, police crash um, every teenage party, you know what I mean? But yeah, overall, they end up connecting, we end up thinking, I do think... That the tech friend, I do think he's a bit jealous. Whether he thinks because it's going to take his friend away from him, I don't know. But I know he gets accepted into, is it Caltech? It's like a technological um, university that they, you know, the big brain people go to. I think it's Caltech. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, anyway, anyway we end up moving away from that. You know, they end up meeting. At the end of the th second episode, we end up finding out that Kamala 
or the love interest that she's with. His mom, I think, is it, is the ancestor that she wasn't supposed to speak about, or I think she's the guardian of the ancestor you're not supposed to speak about. Anyway, ends on a cliffhanger where we find out, oh, we're going to find out in the next episode what happens. Third episode, we get a bit more of an explanation about where the bangle came from. Uh, we get like a bit of a time travel flashback to like um, England occupied India, essentially. Don't really have to explain what that is. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like England going around raiding stuff and stuff like that. But we find that there's two bangles. We only find that there's one at the moment, but pretty much we find out that the beings that came into this world are called the quintessence. I believe that's what they're called in the comics. I think they are. Um, but yeah, we end up finding out that they're pretty much aliens from another another um, reality because obviously, you know, m uh, Marvel's going in the, into this multiverse thing now, so everybody that pops in comes from a multiverse somewhere and stuff like that, different realities, stuff like that. But yeah, essentially, we find out a bit more about their history, the quintessence. Um, we find out that they lured Kamala into a false sense of security because they thought that um, they just wanted Kamala to help them get home. But realistically, they ain't got time to waste. They literally want to get home. They are quite advanced individuals, you know, like strength. Not super, super strength, but strength, versatility, you know, agility and stuff like that. They are very primitive. Um, I forgot to mention, we also find out that um, Kamala has got very viral because she saves a boy from a mosque um she uses her like stepping stone ability and saves a boy from the mosque he does fall but she ends up breaking his fall a little bit um before that we also get like earlier in the daytime we see the dod go into a mosque and kamala's friend ends up um you know running for the board members and she said listen you can't come in here without a warrant this is a religious place you can't just bus in here because you know what government be government people like they think they can just walk in anywhere because of the government you know give some give somebody a badge and they think they can run the place but anyway moving back to what i was saying um yeah we end up having kamala's brother's wedding um which goes down really really well Mex Mex <laughs> reminds me of like the Indian weddings um, that I've been to, and I'm actually I'm actually hoping there's an Indian wedding soon. You know, when you want a wedding to go to just so you can meet back up with people, like you know what I mean. I guarantee a lot of people are waiting for that after lockdown. But anyway, moving back to what I was saying, we got like a nice little cool fight scene where she doesn't necessarily beat them up, but she kind of stands her ground from what little she knows of her powers. You know, she does some shields and blocks and stuff like that. You know, she does the fist and stuff like that. Oh, also, we find out... Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm sure they are. Previously, in the episode before, we saw Kamala get chased after she saved the boy from the mosque. I think it was the previous episode. Yeah, we see her get chased by drones from the mosque. And I swear to God... If you saw the part in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, there was a there was um it was a universe when they were going through, and there was drones. I swear to God, those are the um those are Mysterio drones. So I wonder why they're still around because they seem to come from the DOD when she's being chased. So she's got like an injury where she's like hurt her leg as well, um, which is like an on-running injury. Um, but yeah, she ends up getting cornered by these quintessence. She holds her own for the most part. Her, her friend does get hurt, the um, tech guy. I'm just going to call him the tech guy. But yeah, he does get hurt. Um, her friend actually finds out that Kamala's got her abilities now. And she's like, oh, so it was you. She's like, you know, I'll explain later. You know, these people are after me. I thought they were going to try and help me. And they wanted to just get home. But then she finds out um, something like that. But we end up finding out that whatever these bangles are, basically her, her abilities end up going wild a little bit when she gets cornered and there's like a, she sees like a, a vision when one of the quintessence touches her and we see this indian train like come towards her and like it's breaking through like a portal and then we get her nan phone her at the end of the episode saying did you see that train so whether this is like an ancestral thing like once you've had them or once you've held them you have like an ability or like a sixth sense where you can see something as well so obviously we're probably going to get in next episode in episode four we're probably going to get kamala go to india because obviously with indian train um you know her nan knows about it the quintessence woman that touched her the main woman she knows about it so obviously she's been arrested now but she'll probably be on, be on her way there as well but yeah overall not super super exciting but the episodes are fun you know they're cheesy they're cool they're fun you know at the moment like 
all the all the all the Miss Marvel episodes are probably sitting on like a solid seven for me, seven and a half. They're above average. They're really good. Anyway, but I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I don't want to drag on for too long. Pretty much covered most of it. Like I said, there's not really much spoilers in here. Maybe a couple of like things you might have seen in the background maybe but there's nothing overall is spoilerish that i saw anyway but uh anyway um finally got this done and out of the way i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you did don't forget to smash the like button if you didn't enjoy the video by the way let me know in the comments down below let me know two things what is your favorite episode and how are you enjoying the series so far and second of all what is your favorite um pokemon you can give me a top three if you want. But anyway, if you, to, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get no funny things that below. But more importantly, don't forget to stay a bit of a vibey, and I'll catch you in the multiverse. Peace. Cheers.